Hi there, welcome to another how-to episode. This is probably going to be a quick one, as we're just going to show you one kind of quick thing. We're back here in my world with my reactors, as you probably have seen in the previous episode. And I want to show you how to make use a reactor to make steam. So let's just quickly switch to survival for a minute. Um, so to switch to steam, you're going to want to get yourself uh, a couple of reactor coolant ports. So basically, the reactors can be either passively cooled, which means that they need the cooling inside them, like the iron blocks we used or the liquid cryotrium, and uh, or they can be actively cooled when by pumping water into them. So I've got two here. We're going to make one for an output and one for an input. You just do that by right clicking. Um, and for the output, let's get another duct because I probably need two. There we go. And oh, I'm just thinking actually, I probably don't want to put that there. I want to put it here. You can put them anywhere, I think. Um, there's no real place that you have to put them, but uh, whoops. So with an empty hand, you have to press them. So let's put a fluid duct there and a fluid duct there. And for the input one, we're going to put um, a creative water supply, but you can use anything at all. You'll need a, a, a big source of fuel, or sorry, water. And you'll see that the tank over here has water filled into it. So if we set this to run now, it's gonna start pumping out steam. And you can see it's absolutely pumping out the steam there. So we can get a, a regular tank here. We can actually fill up the tank with steam. But obviously what you're meant to do here now is use this steam to power something. Now you can power quite a few things. Um, so we can use this to power st uh, steam dynamo from thermal expansion or we can use uh, the industrial steam engine from railcraft or we can use... Um, a few other things I thought. Ah, the steam turbine from uh, Mine Factory that reloaded it. And each of these uses a different amount of steam and um, different everything really. So uh, we can just hook this up actually if we get a few fluid ducts. So we'll grab some fluid ducts. And there we go, all of these are going. Um, I'm not sure which is meant to be the best. Uh, I can see that one's not actually. Let's uh, pick this up and put it back down again and we'll see if it works this way. I've been told that this is one of the better ones. Oh, maybe this needs to be plugged in to actually start working with a redstone lever or something. Oh, that's an illusion block. Um, I've been told that the industrial steam engine is actually one of the better ones to use in terms of fuel. But um, yeah, uh, let me know your, what you think is the best one. Um, there we go, yeah, just needed that. So this will give, it's giving, about 80 RF as well. And this is giving 80 and this is I have no idea how much that's giving um, but yeah 
Let's put down a cell on top of that, and we can see. Oh, that probably needs to be piped. Anyway, so yeah, that's how you can use your reactor to make steam instead of energy directly. Of course, you can use this steam for anything on any mod that requires steam. Um, it should all be the same steam. And of course, you can use it for big reactors itself and build yourself a big turbine. And I'll cover turbines in a different episode. Okay, so uh, that's just a quick episode today. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think is the best way of producing power from a, uh, from a reactor. So until next time, I will see you later.